So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, there's a BattleBots fight tonight on TV. We have to watch it. What's BattleBots? You don't know what BattleBots is? It's where robots fight until they destroy each other. Yeah, dude, it's the ultimate destruction. Yeah, and tonight it's Splinter Saw versus Tornado Tentacles. And Tornado Tentacles hasn't lost. No, Splinter Saw's going to win. He's going to kick his ass. What? If Tornado Tentacles had tentacles that spin in a tornado. Yeah, well, Splinter Saw's mom is in the hospital, so he really wants to win one for her. Well, let's watch it, guys. Well, quit your yapping and turn it on, Junior. Okay. <sighs> Hello and welcome to the BattleBots Arena, where tonight we will have a BattleBot fight. Tonight's matchup's gonna be a good one, folks. First, we have Splinter Saw. Yeah! Go, Splinter Saw! And Splinter Saw will be fighting Tornado Tentacles! Yes! Yeah, Spin those tentacles like a tornado, tornado tentacles! Yes, yeah, Splinter Saw! Tornado tentacles! I'm trying to watch, guys. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's my bad. Let the match begin! Oh no, it looks like Splinter Saw's caught in one of Tornado Tentacles' tentacles! He's trying to get away! What? Oh no, it looks like he's caught in the smasher! Oh, he's really taking a pounding there. He's getting smashed. Oh, he has them right where he wants them! Come on, Splinter Saw, think of your mom! Oh, it's over, dude! <laughs> oh, you hear that sound, folks? That means it's time for the Falling Hammers! Not the Falling Hammers! Oh, you're so done, dude! Oh no, it looks like Tornado Tentacles was hit with a hammer! And another one! Oh no! And a mallet! Oh, it's over, folks! Splinter Saw wins! No way, dude! Haha, <laughs> Joseph, I told you Splinter Saw would win! But Tornado Tentacles was undefeated! He was undefeated, but not now! He should change his name to Tornado Testicles because he sucks balls! Bro, the only reason your dude won it was because the hammers came down! Yeah, you're right. Well, that, that was really cool, guys. That's like a really awesome fight. Yeah, I just wish I could make my own BattleBot someday. Have you ever wanted to build your own BattleBot someday? Well, today's that day. We're having a BattleBot competition, and if you can build your own BattleBot, and your bot can fight and be the last bot standing, you could win $5,000. But there is a $500 entrance fee. So bring the money and your robot today. Whoa, Cody, look. We could build a battle bot and enter that competition to win $5,000. Well, yeah, Junior, we could. But there are so many problems with that. First, we'd have to build a robot, and that's hard. And then we don't have the $500 for the entrance fee. How about you build the robot, I'll get the $500 from my dad's wallet, and Joseph... He can name the robot. Oh, I'm good at naming stuff, dude. But it seems like I'm doing all the work because I'm the one making the robot. No, Cody, we're all doing equal amount of work. You're building, I'm funding it, and Joseph's naming it. That's complicated. Naming it's the easiest part. No, sometimes the name of the product is more important than the product itself. Like, you know how hard it is to think of a name of a product? Like, like think of McDonald's. How long do you think it took them to think of McDonald's? McDonald's is the last name of the guy who made McDonald's. It wasn't that hard. He just named it after himself. Wendy's. Okay, Wendy's is the name of the daughter of the owner of Wendy's. Uh, KFC. Uh, well, they're from Kentucky, and they make fried chicken. It's not that hard to think of Kentucky fried chicken. Uh, Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make uh, they make uh, cell phones. They're well known, dude. And they make laptops. So, like, what what made Steve Jobs name it Apple? He could have named it orange or pear or zucchini or watermelon, but instead he said Apple. See, now when you say Apple, you think of iPhone. So the name of the product's the most important thing. So Joseph, he's the next Steve Jobs. Yep, you're welcome, dude. Guys, we're not making Apple. We're making a robot that'll probably just get destroyed anyway. Look, let's all break up and do our jobs, and let's all meet back up when we're done. <sighs> Okay, guys, check out our robot. Whoa, you made a robot spider? Hell yeah, I did. Isn't he sick? He's the coolest robot I've ever seen, Cody. Yeah. Okay, Junior, so where's the $500? Oh, uh, I don't think my dad has that much money in his wallet. What? Junior, that was your one job was to get the money. Well, I was thinking you could ask your mom for the money. Oh, so I have to make the robot and get the money? I'll pay her back. No, you won't, Junior. We both know you're not going to pay her back. I promise I'll pay her back. <sighs> okay, Joseph, what's the name? The what? The name for the robot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I couldn't come up with one, dude. It's been five hours. You couldn't think of a single name? It was so hard. All the good ones are taken. McDonald's, Wendy's, KFC. Those are all restaurants. We need robot names. Well, sorry, Cody. We didn't get the easy job to make the robot. Yeah, all you gotta do is put pieces together, dude. Oh, screw you guys. I just did all the work and you guys did nothing. Well, look, Cody, I don't see any weapons on this robot. Where are the weapons? Well, I didn't add any weapons. What? No weapons, dude? Are you stupid? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not as stupid as somebody who couldn't think of a single name in five hours. All right, guys, let's just calm down. We got the robot. We need a name. So let's, anyone throw out some name suggestions. How about Daddy Longlegs? Ooh. 
Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's an awesome name. How long, did you, how long did it take you to come up with that? Just now. I just thought of it. It was very easy. No, it took him like five hours. Definitely. Okay, so I need to add some weapons to this. So I got an idea. I'll be right back. <sighs> All right, Cody. I just taped a knife to the top of the spider. Oh, yeah. Now we're doing damage, dude. So I basically built like half the spider. Junior, I could have taped a knife to it. But did you? Ooh, talk that shit. Yeah, so shut up, Cody. Also, Joseph grabbed me the tape. So we all basically built this robot. We're a team. Yep, so we get to split the prize money if we win, right? We'll see about that later. So let's go enter him to the competition. Okay. Oh man, Cody, do you think we're gonna win our first fight? We better. You see this controller? People thought they could control a submarine with this thing. Hopefully this goes better than that did. Hello and welcome to another BattleBots fight! Today's matchup, Daddy Longlegs! And Daddy Longlegs will be versing the Shark Ship! We're versing a boat? How is that supposed to work? Well, we have a knife on our spider, so stab the pool, and it'll make the pool deflate, and then the boat will, like, crash. But if our spider gets wet, it might destroy the battery. Well, it's worth a shot, Cody. Okay. Let the match begin! Looks like Daddy Longlegs is going to use his knife. Oh, and he punctures the pool! Oh, the water's coming out! Daddy Longlegs has got to get out of there! What is Shark Ship gonna do? Oh no! Land ho! Shark ship can't move! Daddy Longlegs wins! Woo! Daddy Longlegs won! Yeah, we kicked that boat's ass! Well, I think we kind of got lucky because it was a boat, so all we had to do was pop the pool. Well, the knife was my idea, so we only won because of my amazing engineering. Screw you guys! My boat was way better! Yeah, well, we won, so pfft. Well, I'm gonna tell my dad he's gonna buy me a real boat! Dad! So who do you think we're gonna verse next? I have no idea. Well, get out there, Daddy Longlegs. When is that money? Yeah, go, boy. Hello, and welcome back to another BattleBot fight. Today's matchup, Daddy Longlegs. And he will be versing Hammerhead Shark. He has a hammer on his head and an ax on his ass. Oh, oh, Junior, he has a hammer and an ax. Well, we have a spider and a knife. Bring it, chump. Let the match begin. Cody, charge him as fast as you can. Go! Okay. Daddy Longlegs is gonna strike first. Oh, damn! Cody, get up! Yeah, dude! I'm trying! Daddy Longlegs needs to get up! Oh, no! He's getting the axe! Cody, do something! He's teabagging us! I'm trying! Hammerhead's going for the ramp! Oh, damn! Oh! Oh, this match is over, folks! Hammerhead wins! We got completely destroyed. We never had a chance. Hey, chumps. What? PJ Crenshaw? Jamie James Crenshaw? Oh, Perry Jamie's Crenshaw. You were the one controlling the hammerhead shark? Yeah, and you guys are going to need something a lot better than a spider if you're going to beat my hammerhead shark. Yeah, I can't believe we lost. And I still owe my mom $500 because I was going to pay her back with the winnings from the fight. Well, Cody, it's actually your fault we lost because it was your dumb idea to come up with a robot spider. Yeah, that was a crappy idea, dude. Oh, I'd like to see you guys come up with a better robot. Why'd you have to make a robot spider something so small? You should have made a robot gorilla. Oh, man, a robot gorilla would have went crazy. I don't know how to make a robot gorilla. Well, I have an idea for you to be able to pay your mom back. Well, technically, you should be paying her back because you were supposed to pay for it to begin with. Okay, well, I have an idea for me to be able to pay her back. You go borrow another $500 from your mom, and then we'll enter the competition again with a new robot and we'll win. Why would she loan me another $500 when I didn't pay her back last time? Tell her we'll pay her back double. But we're gonna owe her $2,000. Is he stupid? He's very stupid. If we borrow $500 and we pay her back double, that's a thousand, Cody. Idiot! We already borrowed $500, so if we borrow another $500, that'll be a thousand, and double that is $2,000. Oh, I'm not gonna pay her back double for the first $500. I'm only gonna pay her back double for the second $500. That's still gonna be $1,500. I like that's a deal. Yeah, that's a deal. No, why would she be okay with that? Because she's gonna get her money back when we win the competition with the $5,000, because you're not gonna make a robot spider this time because that was a dumb idea. Okay, well, who's making the robot? Because I don't wanna do it. You! What, why? You're gonna make the robot, and we're gonna think of the name. Yeah. You're not going to think of a name. It's going to be the best name ever. So go make the robot, go get the money, and we're going to think of the name. <sighs> I hate you guys. <sighs> He's so hard to work with. Right? Okay, guys, I got the robot. <gasps> you built a helicopter, Cody? Yeah, I figured if we can fly, the other robots won't be able to reach us. And also, I built this hook so we can pick them up, go really high, drop them, and then they'll break and we win. That's a good idea, Cody. Now you're thinking with your noggin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's the name? Oh, okay, well... We've been thinking. Yeah, we made a long list, and we thought we heard these names before. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you think? So we ended up going with an original name, Grave Digger. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's not original, because there's a monster truck called that, and also a helicopter named Grave Digger doesn't make sense. A helicopter? 
helicopter can dig a grave, Cody, like if the blades hit the ground. Or if they crash in Calabasas. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, fine, I guess we can call it Grave Digger. Oh, did you get the $500 from your mom? Yeah, I got the money. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Time for another BattleBot fight, folks. In this corner, Grave Digger, the helicopter for some reason. And in this corner, Hammerhead Shark again. All right, Cody, you have a plan this time, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna hook him, fly up as high as I can, and then drop him so he breaks. Oh, we're not losing this time, dude. Yeah, we're gonna win. Let the match begin! Gravedigger's taking off! Oh, it looks like he's gonna go fishing! And he's hooked himself a hammerhead! I got him hooked! Fly up! Fly up! Time to die, Hammerhead. Wait a minute, looks like Hammerhead's caught himself a grave digger! And he's running him over! Oh no, this match has got to be over! He's smashing him to pieces! I can't watch this! Cody, do something! Junior, there's nothing I can do. We're just gonna have to sit back and watch him have his way with us. Hammerhead wins! That did not go as planned. You guys really thought a stupid helicopter could take on a Hammerhead shark? Yo, I can't believe we lost again. And we owe my mom $1,500. Cody, why would you make a helicopter? What a dumb idea. Yeah, such a stupid idea, dude. You guys said it was a great idea. Well, we lost, so it's a bad idea. Why wouldn't the helicopter pick up the shark truck? The shark was too heavy. Your mom's too heavy, but the Earth finds a way to carry her around. Yeah, why didn't you just make a gorilla, dude? Yeah, a robot gorilla. I don't know how to make a robot gorilla. Wow, Cody. I used to think you were smart and a nerd, but now you're just a big, dumb loser. Yeah, we need a new smart friend, dude. Yeah. What, you guys want some smart shit? I'll make you some smart shit. I'll make the coolest robot car ever. <laughs> okay, guys, check this out. I call it the Mean Green Machine. The what? Uh, hold on, let me turn it off. It's kind of loud. <laughs> I call it the Mean Green Machine. Whoa, dude, you made this? Hell yeah, I did. Is that a gun? Yep, military grade. We're going to kill PJ Crenshaw and his stupid monster truck. Dude, Ooh. we're totally going to win. There's no way we'll lose. Uh, yeah, we, we, we need another $500 to enter the competition again. I already got it from my mom. Now we owe her $2,000. $1,500 from before, and now another $500. Well, we're definitely going to win this time. And we'll get the five thousand dollars, and if after we pay your mom two thousand, that'll leave us with three thousand dollars, a thousand dollars for each of us. Yeah. I mean, it should all go to me because I did all the work. I mean, I even named this one because I knew you guys weren't gonna. No, we all get a thousand dollars each because this was all our idea. Come on. <sighs> Welcome back to another BattleBot fight. We've done a lot today, but this matchup is the Mean Green Machine versus the undefeated Hammerhead Shark. Okay, Cody, we're gonna win this time. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him to death with my gun. Let the match begin! <laughs> Cody, he's coming at us! Die, bitch! Oh, no, it looks like the mean green machine is shooting his machine gun! Hammerhead Shark is riddled with bullets! Oh, Hammerhead Shark blew up! Mean green machine wins! We won! Woo! Die! Sweet Jesus, everyone run for your lives! Guys, we won and we got $5,000! We're rich, dude! Yeah, I can't believe we won just because I sprayed bullets everywhere and shot all the other robots. Unfortunately, I also shot 35 people, so I will be going to jail. I'll see you guys later. Uh, so does that mean we have to pay his mom back? Nah. <laughs> so, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, I'm hungry. Yeah, I could use some nummy in my tummy. Well, Chef PB should be done cooking dinner soon. All right, guys, dinner's ready. Ugh, smells like shit. Hey, Cody, watch your mouth. That's chicken jambalaya. I don't see any chicken. Oh, that's what the Nutter Butters are for. You substituted Nutter Butters for chicken? Oh, and shut up, just eat. God, stop being choicy. Why is there a can lid in there? Yeah, we're not eating this. I'll eat it for five bucks. Jo Joseph, I'm not going to pay you to get food poisoning. How about, guys, how about we just drive to McDonald's? But we're not old enough to drive. Yeah, we don't have a license, dude. Do we know anyone with a license? Well, Ken has a driver's license. Well, he doesn't have a driver's license. He's a dog, dude. He's not a dog, Joseph. Of course he has a driver's license. How else could he be a race car driver? Well, then show us the driver's license. Yeah. Okay, let me get it out of his wallet. Boom. Read it and weep, chumps. Oh, yeah, dude. That's definitely fake. Yeah, it looks fake, Cody. It's not fake. It's very real. Why is Ken so orange? Oh, he had a sunburn that day. Yeah, I told him not to get his driver's license photo done when he had a sunburn, but he didn't listen. He just had to drive. His last name is Carson? Yep, and one day I'm going to be Cody Carson. And look, he's even an organ donor. He can't be an organ donor. He's plastic, dude. What if G.I. Joe needs a kidney, Joseph? A plastic kidney, Cody? Shut up, Joseph. Wait, wait, wait. It says right 
right here, Ken was born in 1961. That means Ken is over 60 years old. Yeah, but age is but a number. But you're under 18, so that's wrong. No, no, it's not wrong because he's a... He's a doll? No, no, he's not a doll, Justin. Well, if he was a doll, Cody, it wouldn't be weird. If he was made in 1961, that's fine. But if he was born in 1961, then, then he's a predator. No, he's not a predator. He, he has Benjamin Button disease, so he, he's basically 17. Dude, if he wasn't plastic, I'd be calling the cops right now. Well, look, guys, he has a driver's license, okay? Can he drive? <laughs> Can he drive? Did Chick Thunder Hicks sign with Dynaco? Yes, he did. And Lightning McQueen signed with Rusty's. I watched Cars last night. Just a little bit of Pixar trivia for you. Can Ken drive us to McDonald's? No. What was the point of that, dude? Well, why can't he drive us? Well, because he can't drive at night because he has astigmatism. What? What do you mean? His eyes are bad? Yeah, he has bad eyes, okay? Look, when God gives you washboard abs and a perfect ass and a giant wang, he has to take away something. So Ken can't drive us to McDonald's. What if we duct tape him to the steering wheel and then you drive the car and it looks like Ken's driving it and we have someone with a license, at least in the car. I don't know. Look, look, look Ken, look, 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 just you and Ken, follow me, look. Uh, okay, Cody, I duct taped Ken to the steering wheel, so if we get pulled over, just say Ken was driving. But I don't want Ken to get in trouble. Well, then don't get pulled over. But I don't even really know how to drive. I can't even see over the steering wheel. All you do is press the gas pedal and then move the steering wheel back and forth. This seems like a bad idea. I want to go to McDonald's! Okay, put it in drive, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, Simmons, I hate the night shift. I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Just wake me up if any crimes happen. All right, mate. I'm gonna test out the equipment and make sure it's working properly. I'm gonna start with the lights. <laughs> Sim Simmons, you turned the siren on! Yeah, I'm just testing out the lights to see if they work. But Simmons, stop staring at the lights. It's bad for your eyes. You know what else is bad for your eyes? A pencil. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that would be bad for your eyes. Any sharp object is bad for your eyes. And bricks are bad for your teeth. Well, yeah, you, you shouldn't chew on bricks. What? Oh, Simmons, did you see that car? He was flying! He wasn't flying. He was driving. No, I meant he was going fast. Come on, we're gonna get him. Uh, Cody, the cops are behind us. Oh, shit. Pull over. Oh, All right, they pulled over. Look, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna give him a warning and let him go so I can go back to my nap. Wait, mate, before you go, aren't carrots good for your eyes? I mean, that's what I've heard, yeah. So I can poke myself in the eye with a carrot and be all right? No, no, they're not for poking yourself in the eye, Simmons. They're for eating. Well, then if I eat them, then it means they're good for my mouth. Well, I'll let you figure that out while I'm gone. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? I'm having a panic attack. I don't want to go to jail. What if they make me be the top? That's too much pressure. I can't last that long. Cody, let me get in the driver's seat and I'll do all the talking. You're gonna screw this up. No, Cody, trust me. I know how to talk to cops. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I see your driver's license? Here you go, officer. Thank you. That's not you. This is the guy on the steering wheel. Oh, what? He appears to be duct taped to the steering wheel. What? What? Oh. Well, I'm not going after him. I am too tired for this. Whoa! Junior, what the hell are you doing? Not going to jail, that's what I'm doing. I gave him a fake ID. That wasn't a fake ID, that was Ken's ID. He's a dog, too. He's not a dog, Joseph. McDonald's, here we come. No, no McDonald's. Take us home. Woo! We got our McDonald's. You know I love my nuggies, dude. Guys, we just ran from the cops. And we got away. This is not my first time running from them. And we're never going to get caught. Yes, we will, because they have Ken's driver's license. It's fake anyway, dude. Yeah, it's not even real. It is real, and now they're going to come looking for him. Cody, just shut up and eat your Elemental Happy Meal. Well, I've never even seen Elemental. You guys want to go watch it? Well, if we're going to go watch it, we have to go watch it now, because it's only in theaters. What are you talking about? It means you can only watch it in theaters, and when it leaves theaters, they're going to delete the file. From history, dude. They're they're never going to release it on DVD, and they're never going to put it on a streaming service. That would be ridiculous. Well, no, it's, it's Pixar's plan. See, they want people to run to the theaters and watch it now, and then they're going to delete the file. But no, 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 I think what they mean is it's only in theaters for now. Well, then why doesn't it say only in theaters for now? Why doesn't it say only in theaters for now, DVD later, streaming later? Uh, they can't fit all that on the box. There's plenty of space on that box, dude. Yeah, they could have fit it right here. Well, look, do you guys want to go see it or not? Yeah, let's go see it. Yeah, let's go, dude. Well, guess what? We can't because we spent all of our money on McDonald's. Well, wait a minute. Wait, we have Ken's real name now, so we can apply for a credit card in Ken's name. Oh, dude, he's perfect for this. Let's do it. No, 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 no. We don't want to ruin Ken's credit. He has a perfect credit score. Well, that means we can get a higher credit limit. And also, we can apply for loans Ooh, in Ken's name. More money, dude. Yes, yeah, so let's go apply for loans in Ken's name. No, no, no. 
All right, Cody, we got a credit card in Ken's name. And a $20,000 personal loan with an 8.6% interest rate. And it's a balloon loan, so the interest rate rises every year. And they give us free balloons. But that's financially irresponsible, and you're not going to get any balloons. But look, Cody, we have a credit card and $20,000, all thanks to Ken's information. But, 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 guys, this is a crime because Ken, Ken can't, he, he can't, he's... He, what, he's a doll? No, no, he's, he's human. It's just, this is identity theft because, because you can't take out a loan in Ken's name. Well, he told us we could do it. Yeah, he's cool with it. No, no, he didn't. He was in the whole time and he didn't say that. Well, look, Cody, with this $20,000, we can go see Elemental. We could buy Elemental, dude. Yeah, we could, the whole theater. Guys, you're gonna have to pay that money back eventually. Ken has to pay that money back. Well, but we should still return the money. Look, Cody, no one's gonna stop us. The police might. Th that, who says that's the police? That might just be Pixar asking us to go see Elemental. Pixar's not going to go door to door asking you to see their movie. Oh, yes, they are, Cody. Pixar, have you seen their last few movies? They're in their flop era. Hello? Hey there. Uh, I'm looking for a Ken Carson. I tried to pull him over earlier and he sped off. I've never seen that guy before. Wait, weren't you in the car with him when he sped off? Oh, yeah, that guy. He kidnapped me and my friends and then he dropped us off at McDonald's and then went to Mexico. What? Okay, well, would you be willing to testify to that in court? I don't know, maybe. Okay, so you don't know where he would be? Maybe Mexico, but he's definitely not on my couch upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go check your couch. Well, you don't have a warrant, so you can't come in. Um, uh, uh this house smells like weed, so I'm gonna have to come in, because I have probable cause. It doesn't smell like weed. Uh, and also, his, his address is right here on the driver's license, and that's your house, so I'm coming in. What, Cody? Cody, you put my address as Ken's address on his driver's license? Oh, no, I didn't do that. The DMV did that. Uh, excuse me, anybody seen a Ken Carson? No? Oh, you lying bastard. He's right there. Okay, Mr. Carson, put your hands up. Thank you. Now you're under arrest for fleeing the police. Wait, where did you kids get all that money? Uh, lemonade stand. What, what are you putting in the lemonade that you're getting that kind of money? Uh, crack. Mm hmm You're putting crack in your lemonade? Well, no, but people say it's so good it might as well be crack. Mm hmm Okay, is there crack in the lemonade or not? No. Okay, then where did you get the money? Okay, so look, we found out that Ken has a driver's license even though he's a doll, so we applied for a bunch of loans and credit cards in his name because we wanted money. Wait, wait, you applied for loans and credit cards in his name? That's fraud. Well, no, he told us to do it, and he has no plans on paying it back, so we're going to keep the money, and, and he needs to get in trouble. Yeah. Yep, yep, you're absolutely right. That is his fault. Okay, Mr. Carson, you're under arrest. Come on. Order, 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 order. I am George Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Kenneth Carson. Kenneth, you have been on quite a crime spree lately. Speeding, evading the police, resisting arrest, bank fraud, etc., etc. Kenneth, how do you explain yourself? You wipe that smug smile off your face, mister. You are showing no remorse for your actions. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. He actually just got Botox in his face. That's why he can't stop smiling. But trust me, he is very remorseful for the actions he didn't do. Oh, my name's Kenneth. I'm so remorseful for breaking the law. Do I look remorseful? No. How do you plead, Kenneth? Ken, say something. Well, are you going to say something? You, you have to plead. Guilty, not guilty, my bad, the fifth, something. Not guilty. He said not guilty, Your Honor. Hmm, interesting. Well, let me tell you why you're wrong and why you are guilty. Because you handed your driver's license to the police just before you sped away in your car like Fred Flintstone kicking his little feet. Unless, of course, you're saying that wasn't you driving the car. Oh, please say that. I would love for you to say that. Because then I could fuck you every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So please, I dare you to say that. Uh, it wasn't me driving the car. Oh, I am so glad you said that. Because I have one more piece of evidence. Officer Guy, show him the body cam footage of you pulling him over. Go ahead, show him. If everyone would look at the screen, please, you can clearly see Kenneth is driving the car. He's even duct taped to the steering wheel. And there are kids in the car, so he's also endangering children, so you can probably add some charges for that. Oh, so close, but so fucking guilty. Guilty, 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 liar, liar, pants on fire. You see, you can't fake body cam footage, and that's clearly you driving the car. Oh, now, I don't even have to ask you about the bank fraud, because if you would lie about the car, you'd obviously lie about the bank fraud, so once a liar, always a liar. Get there! Mm. Now, usually, I would give you four years in prison, but because you lied to my face, I am giving you 34 years in prison. That's right, an extra 30 years for lying. I don't like liars. Take him away, bailiff! Don't like it. 34 years? Sorry, kid, he's coming with me. Ken! Ken! 
What's wrong, Cody? Did you get your wiener stuck in your zipper again? Uh-huh. It also can get 34 years in prison, and it's all because of you guys. Hold on, hold on. Is it really because of us, dude? Yeah, at some point, Ken has to take responsibility for his own actions. Well, this was all your idea. No, Ken was the one who got duct taped to the steering wheel and sped off, and he was also the one that get these loans out in his name. Well, you guys did all that. Yeah, and Ken could have stopped us. Yep, he has a voice, unless he's a doll, dude. No, he's not a doll. He's just shy. See, so Ken could have spoke up, and he chose not to. God damn it, Ken needs to learn to stick up for himself. Yeah, so me and Joseph decided to split the 20 grand, 10,000 each, and we're gonna give you the credit card. I should get all of it because this is all your fault, and also I need the money to pay for Ken's commissary. He's gonna need to buy a lot of preparation age for the ass pound he's gonna take, and Swiss rolls. Ken loves his Swiss rolls. So how about you go visit Ken in prison and find out if he even needs the money? Okay, I'll go see if he's a top or a bottom. All right, let's take the 20 grand and hide it. Hell yeah. Hey Ken, how's prison? Your cellmate's not going too rough on you, is he? Hey Ken! Me and you, round three tonight. Uh, 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 uh. Your face on the ground! Mm, mm, mm. Oh, he's making you be the bottom? Oh, lucky. Oh, Ken, I just wish I could reach through these bars and grab you. It's not fair! It's just not fair! What? K Ken! You escaped! Come on, quick! Hey, you owe me round three! Guys, I just broke Ken out of jail! Why would you do that, Cody? Now you're gonna get in trouble! Well, he just kinda fell through the bars and I just grabbed him. Look, hopefully nobody will even notice he's missing. Okay, inmates, lights out. No more weenies and butts. At least not with the lights on. But officer! No butts. Or weenies in those butts. I can't even put my weenie in the butt because my butt gone! What, what happened to your butt? It ain't here! Wait, you're telling me your cellmate escaped? Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. Well, I gotta find him! So guys, what happened to that $20,000? Cause we should probably give it back to the bank. Ooh! Uh, uh, what happened? Well you see, we gave that $20,000 away. Wait, to who? Well there was these two blind kids going door to door trying to raise money for new eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was $10,000 per eye. Yeah. So we only had $20,000, so that means only one kid got new eyes. So we made them play rock, paper, scissors to see who got new eyes. How did they know who won? Well we told them, and it was a draw three times in a row. Mm -hmm, three times. So, yeah, so they decided to get one eye each. You know, an eye for an eye. That's not really relevant here, but okay. Yeah, so we gave the $20,000 so they both could get one eye. Don't you think that's worth it? Well, as long as it went to a good cause. Freeze! You're under arrest for helping a fugitive, and you're under arrest for being a fugitive. What's going on, officer? Well, Mr. Cody here helped Mr. Carson escape from jail, so now they're both going to the slammer. Do I at least get Ken's cellmate? No, you're going to an all-women's prison. Junior, help me! Is there anything we can do, officer? I don't know, I'm just so pissed off because my wife racked up $20,000 of credit card debt. So I really need $20,000. I would do just about anything for $20,000. I'd probably let these two go for $20,000. Dude! Do we give them the money? No! We might have $20,000. But wait, but what about the blind kids? We made it up. What, you made that up? Yeah, because me and Joseph wanted to buy a soft serve ice cream machine. Bro, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Cosmopolitan, Cody, come to Cosmopolitan. Guys, help me! Give him the money, Joseph. And here, have the money. Wow, that's really nice of you guys. So I guess, because you did that, I can let these two go. Well, I have a question for you. So is this weird? So Ken was born in 1961, and he's dating a minor. Uh, okay, well, I can't just let that slide. Ken, run! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you ready to play Greedy Granny? Yeah, dude, it's been forever since the last time we had a game night. And tonight's the perfect night for it because it's raining outside. How do you even play this game? Well, you spin the spinner here, and whatever number it lands on, that's how many times you press this button, and you try to steal a treat from Granny. But if she wakes up and spits her teeth out, you lose. She looks dead. Oh, trust me, she's not dead. She's one of Greedy Granny. All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. Um, looks like I have to press it once. <sighs> okay. Your turn, Junior. Okay. How many times do I gotta press it? Uh, one time. Can you press it for me? Uh, okay. Okay, get your treat. Can you grab it for me? Why do I have to do everything? Because you're right there. Okay, your turn, Joseph. All right, my time to shine. Ugh. Ooh, two times? Uh, can you press it for me, dude? Uh, okay. Ah! Ah! That was kind of a delayed reaction, Jeffy. Well, I'm missing a chromosome, so it takes my brain a second to process the signal. Marvin, did you just hear Jeffy scream? I think so. Well, what if he's hurt? Go check on him! Jeffy! Stop screaming, you goober! Marvin, go 
check on him. He's fine. Oh, Cody, you lost. Yeah, yeah, you lost, Cody. Wait, how did I lose? Because you pressed the button for Joseph. Mm -hmm. Wait, but it was Joseph's turn. But it was your finger that made her wake up. Yeah, it was the pressure of your finger, dude. Yeah, if, if Joseph would have pressed it, it wouldn't have went off. But since you pressed it so hard, you wanted Joseph to lose. Wait, yeah. It was going to go off no matter who pressed it. You have a problem with Joseph. You pressed it hard so yeah. she would wake up. Wait, no, this is stupid. I don't want to play this game anymore. Why? Because you cheated to make Joseph lose? Cheater. Wait, you guys are cheating. Oh, no. All right, listen, we'll just play a different game. But, Cody, no more cheating. Well, I'm not Cody. cheating. Come on, get it together. Oh, there's someone at the door. Oh, you'll get up to go check the door, but not on Jeffy? <sighs> Hello? Hey, buddy, we're here for the surprise. Lady, where are we? Uh, sh don't worry about that, Karen. You know what? You just stay right here while I finish getting your surprise ready. What's going on? Shut up. Let me come inside. Uh, Karen, you stay here. <laughs> so what's going on? Oh, I screwed up really bad, man. Today's my wife's birthday, but I totally forgot. But I told her that I didn't forget and that I had a big surprise planned for her. So what's the surprise? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't really have a big surprise. I lied. You lied? Yeah, so I thought we could just set up a birthday party here, and I could tell it was a big surprise party that I planned a long time ago. You want us to lie? Yes, exactly. A big convincing lie, yeah. But we don't have the stuff for a party here. Well, exactly. And that's why I brought two for $60 for your wife to go buy party supplies while we distract my wife. I don't want to lie! Bitch, please! Just help me out here! It's not that hard, okay? Look, it's not even a lie if we really do it. Well, what kind of party supplies? You know, like balloons and cupcakes, party shit! I don't know, go, okay? Just... Okay! Jesus, how do you even deal with her? Uh, how do we distract your wife? I don't know. Do you have anything fun? Well, the kids are playing board games downstairs. Yes, that's perfect, okay? Okay, just ground all of them and we'll take their board games and play them with my wife. Is board games enough to distract your wife? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife is an absolute dunce, okay? A complete nincompoop. Okay, so I'll go get the board games and you go get your wife. Yes, I will go do that. What are we supposed to do, Cody? I think you're supposed to bend over in front of it and let it floss your butt crack. I'll pass. What are you kids doing? <laughs> We're playing board games! Well, Jeffy, you're grounded for screaming earlier. I well, it hurt my ear, so grounded. Well, at least we can keep playing. No, all you kids, you better go upstairs or I'm going to tell your parents you were doing drugs. Ah, oh, snitch. W what's your deal, dog? Well, we're having an adult party downstairs and there's no kids allowed. Well, I want to go to the adult party. I'm 18. No, it's my house, so you got to listen to my rules, Jeffy. So all the kids upstairs. Gee. Now. Uh, <sighs> okay. Hey, Karen. Lady, it's raining outside. My hair's going to get all frizzy. Well, it's going to be worth it when you see a surprise. Come on. Hey, you ready? Yeah, I got a bunch of board games. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, I grabbed a beer out of your fridge. I hope you don't mind. Boydy, where are we? Oh, you can take your blindfold off now, Karen. <gasps> Boydy, what is this? Surprise! Surprise! It's a surprise party! Boydy, you threw me a surprise party? I thought you forgot! No, no, I would never forget your birthday. But look, we're going to play board games before your party. Board games? I love board games! Yeah, I know, so just pick one. Uh, let's play this one. Mm -hmm. Stir the pot. Uh, it says it roasts your friends for you. Yeah, it's a great game. Super fun. <gasps> you played it before? No, but we totally should. Yeah, let's do it. So how do we play this game, Boiny? Well, you draw a card and whoever the card describes the best gets to keep the card. Oh, how fun. I want to go first. Who is most likely to talk through the whole movie? <laughs> That'd be you, Karen. I <laughs> do not, Boiny. Yeah, you do. Take the card. Let's see what I got. Let's see, who has the shortest attention span? That's another card for you, Karen. That's not true. <gasps> oh my God, I love this wall color. It's so orange. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you this card. All right, my turn. All right, who comes the least prepared? That's you because you forgot her birthday. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's my turn again. Let's see, who needs a new button? <laughs> that sounds like you again, Karen. Boy, that's not very nice. Yeah, well, it's true. You need to be quieter. All right, let's see. Who has the most annoying voice? Another card for you, Karen. Wow, you're good at this game. I don't like this game, Boiny. It's kind of mean. Oh, I love this game. All right, it's my turn again. All right, let's see. Who never shuts the fuck up? Wow, Karen, another card for you. You should go pro. Okay, you know what? It's my turn again. I'm going. Who is most likely to get offended by a joke? Well, that one's for you, Boiny. I don't get offended. I don't get offended at anything. I love jokes. I laugh at jokes all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to go again. Let's see. Who is most likely to get checked into anger management? Oh, that's another one for you, Boiny. I don't have anger problems, Karen. I just need to be away from you. Okay, let's see what we got. Whose phone do you want to go through the most? Let me see your phone, Boiny. Oh, you're never going anywhere near that damn thing. I want to see your phone. No, get it out, Boiny. No, no, I'm going to draw a card now. Let's see. Uh, who is most likely to start an argument for no reason? Well, that sounds like you, Karen, because you're starting shit. No, I'm Boiny. You started this whole argument uh, during the card game. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, I got a 
a card, I got a card. How about, how about this? Um, who would bitch out their grandma for not giving them enough birthday money? Oh yeah, that'd be me. Yeah, Gam Gam only gave me $5 for my 37th birthday. She knew I needed rent money. She's loaded, she can afford it, but Gam Gam is a stingy bitch. I hope you fucking die, Gam Gam. You know what, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's making me pissed off about Game Game. Boiny, maybe you should stop drinking. Actually, I was just thinking I need another one. Oh, I'll get a different game. Ah, stupid Karen, starting shit. Hey, you yelling at your wife on her birthday? Yeah, she started it. Well, what are you doing? I'm getting more beer. It's the only way I'm gonna get through the rest of this party. Well, look, just try to calm down. You're being kind of crazy. Yeah, well, that's up to her. Okay, I'm back. Aw, Boiny, you brought a beer for everyone? <laughs> Good joke, Karen. You should be a comedian. No, these are all for me. Well, I went ahead and picked out the next game. It's called Spin the Dare. And you spin the arrow, whoever it lands on picks up a card, and they have to do the dare. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna spin to go first. Well, it doesn't matter who spins first, Karen. It, it doesn't even matter who spins, as long as it's whoever it lands on. Boiny, it's my birthday! I'm spinning first! Oh, Boiny, it landed on you! You get to draw a card and do the dare. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let another player go through your camera roll for two minutes. That's not happening. Oh, I'll go through your phone, Boiny. You're not going through my phone, Karen. What do you have to do with That's the dare. Well, how about this? How about we can all skip one dare, but only one. I'll remember that, Boiny. Okay, so I have to do this dare. Let's see. Invite the last person you called who isn't already here to come join in on the fun. Oh, hell no. Who was the last person you called? It was Jonathan, but I only called him to tell him to stop calling me. Boiny, invite your brother over. Call him. That's not happening. Then let me go through your phone. I guess I'm calling Jonathan. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, Brooklyn guy! You won't block my number? No, this is for a dare. That's the only reason I called you. I knew you didn't hate me. Oh, I do, but we're playing this game and it dared me to call you and invite you to Karen's birthday party. <gasps> Karen's birthday party? I'm on my way! <sighs> oh, that's him. Hello? Where's Karen? Because I heard there was a fire in my pants. <laughs> is that my fireman outfit? Stop it. Stop. Stop stripping. I said stop it! Oh, why? Doesn't Karen want a sexy stripper for her birthday? Yeah, maybe if it was a sexy one. Look, just go home, change into a normal outfit, wash my fireman outfit, because I'm assuming you're not wearing underwear. Nope. Okay, yeah, wash that, and then come back, and I'll let you in. Oh, okay. Okay, he's here, so I win the deal. So, where's your birthday girl? I'm right here! Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Why'd you catch it, Karen? I don't know, Boiny. So, have you gotten your birthday spanking yet? Cause I'm gonna give you 18! Cause there's no way you're a day over 18! Aw, Boiny, did you hear that? He thinks I'm young! Yeah. Wait! I didn't miss the part where Karen gets in her birthday suit, did I? Okay, Jonathan, just calm down and let's play this game, okay? It's called Spin the Dare, okay? So you, so you just draw a card and you do the dare that's on the card and it's your turn. But Boiny, you gotta spin it! Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. It's Jonathan's turn. Now pick a card, Jonathan. Oh, Okay. Ooh, this one's spicy. Reveal who you F, marry, and kill using people from the group. Well, I killed Yuking Guy. Thanks. And then I would marry Karen. Aww. And then I would F Karen over and over and over and over and over and pushing the pillow. Okay, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, uh, we can all skip a dare and you're skipping that dare, okay? Pick a different dare. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's juicy. Take a selfie, kissing the person to your left on the lips and post it on social media. Pucker up, baby. Oh, okay, okay, I don't want to play this game anymore. We're still, we're going to stop playing. No! That's not fair! You can't do that! There's no part of the rules that it's Karen's birthday! We're not doing that, Jonathan. Let's play Twister instead. Oh, hell yeah. Twister can do. No, no, Twister the game. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a game. Okay, let, let, let's start the game. So what are the rules for Twister? Well, you spin this spinner, and then whatever body part and color it lands on, you put that body part on that color. But Boiny, we don't have feet, so what happens if it spins on left foot or right foot? Ooh, I know! I'm gonna fix your board! We'll be right back! Alright, so I fixed your board. So now it says Karen's butt or Karen's boobs. We're not playing this. Go ahead and spin, Karen! Oh, uh, okay! Butt, 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 butt green! Rose says the party's ready. Oh, thank God. Uh, Karen, it's time to put your blindfold back on. Ooh, great idea, looking guy. That way she doesn't see where she's sitting. No, no, it's for the party. Come on, Karen. Okay, the party's ready. Wow, this party actually doesn't look too bad. I did a good job. Boiny, I can't see where I'm going. Ooh, I'll help you just back up over here. Oh, 
Jonathan, stop spanking my wife. Well, she needs her birthday spankings anyway. 17 more. Karen, you can take the blindfold off. Oh, okay. Oh! Stop it, Jonathan. 16 more. <gasps> Boynie, you set this up just for me? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I sure did. I, I set all this up months ago. Cupcakes are stale as fuck. Boynie, all those mean jokes you were making were just to distract me from you setting up a surprise birthday party? Yep, that. All of the things you just said, all of that is right. Yeah. Yeah, so we should light these candles. Ooh, Karen, I bet if you just touch the candles, they'll set on fire. Cause you're hot. Oh, damn it, Jonathan, stop spanking her. I'm gonna go get the lighter. Okay, lit the candles. Let's sing a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ow! Happy birthday to you. Ow! Happy birthday to Karen. Ow! Happy birthday. Now give me a piece of that cake! Jonathan! Oh, I wish Boynie would give me a big kiss! <gasps> That's really weird, you said Jonathan wrong. Come here, Boynie! Give me spooches! Oh, you taste like beer, Boynie. I know. I love you, Boynie! Thank you so much for my party! It's the best birthday ever! Yeah, I love you too, Karen. Mm.